thank you for establishing peace in our borders thank you lord for being the way maker for us we give you all the glory father we as we're about to hear your word oh god we ask oh god that you will breathe upon your word in the name of jesus by your word this morning establish peace in our the border of our lives in jesus name father we thank you we give you all the glory in jesus mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving praise the lord hallelujah amen we give god the glory for another day amen for for what he has been doing in our life may his name be praised forever i want to appreciate our father and the lord for the privilege given unto me to share the word of god with us this morning praise the lord amen god bless you sir in jesus name praise the lord without wasting much time we want to look at a topic um making way for the peace of god making way for the peace of god praise the lord hallelujah there are many ways on thursday that he was speaking on but uh, uh that, that we should avoid wickedness that wickedness should not be found in us because god said there is no peace for the wicked praise the lord so if god said there is no peace for the wicked so when the for the righteous there shall be peace hallelujah so but we have to make way for that peace to come and we read this morning our call to worship that he is the god of peace hallelujah the god of peace is god so we have to make way for him so that he can come into our life amen hallelujah please kindly turn with me as we look at the scripture in psalm 24 psalm 24 verse 7 i read it said lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads O ye gates even lift them up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord of hosts he's the king of glory praise the lord so when with all the gates there are different gates that can can be a hindrance to one space praise the lord so we have to make way and lift up those gates those evil gates have to leave also that the prince of peace can come into our life amen praise the lord he said lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted let the king of glory come in let the god of peace come in praise the lord the bible says there is no peace for the wicked but when the righteous when we lift up our heads when we open our hearts to him we make way for him to come then the peace of god can come into our home praise the lord we must make ready for the prince of of peace to come amen remember we just finished praying that he said he will extend peace like a river unto us when god is trying to extend peace but your duty is to make way for him so that that peace will flow praise the lord when water is flow when river is flowing when there is a blockage where there is no way for that river to flow it will not penetrate am i right so we have to make way for him those plumber those that want to uh, have a borehole or make pipe do you know they have to make a pipe under it that goes even here we see with nigeria we see soccer way but here there is no soccer way like that but because there is a pipe that take everything him they make way for it so we have to make way for peace of god to come into our life praise master jesus the lord will help us in the mighty name of jesus and let the king of glory come here who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty in battle he's able to break every gates hallelujah he's able to break the gates of barrier he's able to destroy hindrances he said he's our peace having broken the middle wall of partition praise the lord in Ephesians, he broke the middle wall of partition that was made swine against us praise the lord so he if god can do that so we have to make way for him to come into our life so that we can experience peace in our home we experience peace in our marriage experience peace everywhere we go praise the lord we need the peace of god that he just explained to us just now some people can have peace at work they prefer to go to work than to stay at home because there is no peace at home 
So we must make that peace happen. Praise the Lord. Making ways for the peace of God. I pray in this month of divine peace that you will experience all around peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please let's read that first Thessalonians again. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians um, 5, I will read from 22. It said, I stay from all appearance of evil. That means evil can be an hindrance to our peace. Praise the Lord. For those that were here on Thursday, we look at wickedness that can disturb peace. Amen. I stain, appear, I stain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved preserve blameless unto the very coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So when we abstain from evil, from every appearance of evil, they will become blameless. There is no wickedness found in us. David says, search me, O Lord, if there be any wickedness found in me. Praise the Lord. Remember, the Lord said, there is no peace for the wicked. So we want peace of God to come, so we must make way, we must abstain from every appearance of evil. We must abstain from difficult things, things that can hinder us from the peace of God to come into our life. So we have to abstain from all appearance of evil. Praise the Lord. It's not only wishes that are evil. Amen. They are wicked eyes. Amen. Evil eyes. You think imagination of evil. You don't do it, but when you say it or you imagine it, you are doing evil. Praise the Lord. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. He said that, say that, the, that the God of peace, then the God, very God of peace will not come. After standing from him, then the very God of peace in other words, after making way for him the very God of peace will not come, he will not sanctify you, may the God of peace sanctify you and make you holy in the name of Jesus, he said being preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ remember, why are we doing all this because we are not going to stay yet in, et, 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 forever amen, after doing every service, after walking in the house of God, after serving the house of God, we have to go back. Amen. After preaching the word of God, whatever we do, we must go back to our maker. He said until the, to be blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ because we are going back to meet him. I pray the Lord will tell us we're well done in Jesus name. He will not say go from me ye uh, workers of iniquity. We will not be workers of iniquity in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. What are those things that we need to do Amen. To make peace. Amen. There are many things to do to make peace. Amen. Praise the Lord. In all our messages, there are nothing that we do here that does not give us responsibility. Remember, responsibility is the price for greatness. You will do your part and God Almighty will do his part. Amen. Praise the Lord. The first thing he said is we are still from evil. Amen. Another thing we are going to look at now, one of the things again that we need to look at, we need to do for peace of God to come to me making ways for peace he said we must avoid strife amen strife cannot make peace to come where there is quarrel where there is argument where there is this uh, 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 conflict there is no peace praise the Lord in my place they said okay mose praise the Lord so where there is war there is no joy there is no beauty amen so God cannot come in the king of glory cannot come into a place of war Amen. He said he inhabit the praises of his, of his people. When there is strife among brethren, among workers, among leaders, among the children of God, the king of glory cannot come in. The prince of peace cannot be there. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's establish that in the scripture in Genesis. Genesis 13, verse 7 to 9. It's, the Bible makes us to understand, it says, And there was a strife between the headsmen of Abraham and Abraham's cattle and the headmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanites and the Perizzites dwell then in the land. And Abraham said unto Lot, let there be what? 
no strife. Are you reading with me? Genesis 13, we are reading 8. Nice. Abraham said unto the Lord, let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my headsmen and thy headsmen. For we be what? Brethren. Amen. We be brethren. Let there be no strife. We are brethren. We are family. We are brothers and sisters. Amen. We've been brethren. When brethren begin to fight against themselves, there is nothing good about it. There is no peace. So we said, let there be no strife between you and I. Let there be no strife even between our headsmen and your headsmen, between our servant and your servant. Praise the Lord. Let there be no strife between mother and children. Let there be no strife between children and their children and children. Amen. Praise the Lord. Siblings, you see, parents are together, but their children they are fighting against themselves. Amen. So it has to be connected. There should be no strife among, among us. There shall be no strife among us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Abraham know who what peace is. And he came in as a man of peace that had been walking close to God and he stepped in there and said, let there be no strife between you and I. Verse 9 said, it's not the whole land before thee. Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou we take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou departed to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Because the place was not too small. It's okay, the whole head is for us. Is it that you go? Just choose now. I may be your uncle, but choose one side. So go this way, so that I go this way for peace to reign. Amen. Amen. All do all things for the peace of God. Praise the Lord. Abraham make way for that peace to come in, and there was no strife between them. That was why, if there was strife with them, when Lot was held captive in Sodom, he wouldn't have able to intercede for him. Praise the Lord. And when God was going to destroy the land, if there will be strife, he said, let him die. Because God informed him already that, can I hide anything from Abraham? God informed Abraham. He did not inform Lot. Praise the Lord. So you see what unity, uh, uh, a strife, can, uh, peace can do in the life of the children of God. Among brethren, among family. Praise the Lord. He was able to stand in gap for him because there was no strife. But where there is strife, there is no peace. And many things can happen. Evil things. Unspeakable things can happen. I pray the God of peace will establish peace in our family, in our church, in every area of our life in the name of Jesus. So Abraham was able to sustain that and everything went on fine with them and it became well with them. And God began to lead them to eternity. Hallelujah. We didn't hear again there were strife, there were quarrel among them. But the two brethren were not quarreling, but it was their headsmen that were quarreling. But he stepped him as a man of peace. So you and I can also step him like that for anywhere we go when we see that the strife is coming we behave like a peacemaker and god will help us in the mighty name of jesus Amen. praise the lord hebrews hebrews 12 verse 14 he said follow peace with all men and holiness without whom no man shall see the lord Follow peace with all men, and without no man can see the Lord. Amen. Remember, we are talking about the King of Glory to come into our life, the God of peace to come into our home. He said, Without no one can see the Lord. So, without peace, we cannot see God. If we are not making ways for this peace of God to come, then we cannot even see God. And we can't see the God of peace. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples in, in John 14, 17, he said, my peace I live with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world give. It is only God that can give everlasting peace for us. You can establish that in uh, John 14, 27. My peace I live with you, my peace I give to you, is not like the one the world we give. But the one that God gives is everlasting. There is peace of money, there is peace of car, which can perish. Amen. He said, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man can see the Lord. I pray, as we make way for the, uh, the, the God of peace this month, he will come into our home in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Number two, uh, uh, number two responsibility, the thing that we need to do, is we must prefer one another. Hallelujah. Preferring one another. Amen. Working together, preferring one another. Uh, Romans 12. 
verse 10. Romans 12 verse 10. It says, be kind, kindly affection one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another. Amen. Be kind affection one to another. With brotherly love, in honor, preferring one another. Amen. Honor, honoring one another. It's not about age. People talk about age. You don't know my age and all this thing. Praise the Lord. You prefer one to another. It doesn't mean that this person, you may be older than that person, but you prefer him or her. Amen. Why? Because you want to make peace. You make the sacrifice for peace to do it. It might be younger than you help the person. You can do whatever you need to do. Amen. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. So we must prepare one to another. Number three, we must dis the, um, display genuine love. Praise the Lord. Genuine love in every area of our life. Amen. I love you, yes, but has it been proven? Amen. We want to share a message of proving your sincere love. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is love. In in John uh, 3, verse 16, says, For God so loved the world, he gave. Amen. This wanted to give, you can give without loving, but you can't love without giving. Praise the Lord. So it is part of sacrifice. You must love genuinely. Let it come from your heart because God is love. Amen. He make he make that way for us. So we also have to love one another, love the brotherhood. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. In that say uh, Romans 12 that we read before, let's just look up uh verse 9. Take it back to 9. He said, let's love be without this Simulation, amen. Dissimulation. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Verse 10 Be kind, affection to one another, and with brotherly love in honor, preferring one another. Hallelujah. And verse 11 says, Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Beloved, we are serving the Lord. Amen. We can, we can, we can serve God in grudge, not with a whole heart. Amen. Doing things not with a genuine heart. He said in serving the Lord. If we claim we love God, we do what we have to do. As a workers, what are we, going to, are we supposed to do? The things that needs to be done, we do it wholeheartedly. Amen. Praise the Lord. Not in grudge, not in disrespect, not in quarrelsome, because when there is quarrels or when there is memory, the peace of God cannot come. Praise the Lord. The peace of God cannot come into our into our midst. But we, we forbid that in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, let love be without dissimulation, without grudge, without fake, without bias. Let it be genuine. Amen. I love you, yes. Mean what you say. Praise the Lord. Not in the front, not but in the back you do something else. But let the love be genuine from our hearts. Because God's love towards us is genuine. Even while we were yet sinners. But he died for us. Amen. Romans 5 verse 8. Amen. While we were yet sinner, Christ died for us. Amen. His love is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look at Hebrews 13. Hebrews 13 verse 1. It said, let brotherly love continue. Amen. Let brotherly love continue forever, not for a setting, not for a time. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is love that will make somebody to correct you. It is love that will make one to chastise you. The Bible makes us to understand the proverb that hopeful rebuke is better than secret love. Amen. So when somebody loves you, we shouldn't take offense about it. For peace, the person loves you and make it for peace. The God of peace will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let brotherly love continue. Also in 1 John, God is love. Amen. 1 John. First John 4 verse 18. He said, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. Torment, trouble, there is no peace. Amen. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. 
we love him because he first loved us. Hallelujah. And if he said, it went, he said, if a man say, I love God and hated his brother, he is lying. Is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, who he had seen, how can he love God, whom he had not seen? Praise the Lord. Amen. So it has to be genuine. Loving without partiality. partiality without uh, dis, uh, discrimination. You don't say this are my group or this. Even as a group leader, don't love only those that are working with you alone. But let the love spread to the congregation, to other group as well. Praise the Lord. Loving people without partiality. Genuinely. Amen. And display it. Everybody will see that this one is genuine. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. A lot of people will say, I love God. I love God. I fear God. But the man you see, you don't fear them. You don't fear God. He said, if my man say, I love God, and the brethren, you are, you are not in peace, or you are not in agreement, you don't love the brother, the one you see. He said, that person is a liar. Praise the Lord. And we know that liars are the children of what? Of the devil. Amen. Is the father of liar. May we not be the sons of, and daughters of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So we have to love unconditionally. We have to love without bias. We, we have to love without look anything attached to it. Genuine love is what God wants from us. And that is how the bond of peace can also come into our midst. Our, our midst. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Number four, the thing we need to do for peace we must walk uh, we must sorry we must walk in you uh, humility amen we must walk in humility and uh, that is in humbleness humbleness amen it is not about nearly that that makes humility it is not about speaking quietly that makes humility you can kneel down and greet somebody but your heart is not respecting that person Amen. The psalmist said they bless with their mouths, but in their hearts they curse. So let it be from genuine humility. Amen. Humility comes from the heart. Amen. So we must walk in humility, humbleness in the sight of God Almighty. James 4 verse 10. James 4 verse 10. said humble yourself in the sight of the lord and he shall lift you up hallelujah humble yourself in the sight of god and he shall lift you up humble yourself it is god that makes the lift do, do the lifting not man not anyone praise the lord so if god that give the perfect peace that we need not anybody amen the peace of the peace of the world are not from everlasting but the peace of god stays with one forever i pray that god almighty will help us in jesus name mm -hmm. david behaved himself wisely in uh, first samuel 18 for verse 14 first samuel 18 verse 14 he said when Saul was looking all manners of way to kill him and do everything he was humble amen he did wisely he said and david behaved himself wisely in all his way making ways for god praise the lord and the lord was with him praise the lord in other words if you are not if you are not walking in humility god cannot be with you amen all the, we, he was saying he can he's also a man of what he can fight so, but for peace to reign, he behaved himself wisely. Amen. Working with difficult leaders, all you just have to do is to humble yourself and behave yourself wisely. And God will be the one to fight for you. Hallelujah. That was what happened in the case of David. He said, and David behaved himself wisely in all his way. Not sometimes, but in all his way. And the Lord was with him. Verse 15 said, Wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid. Praise the Lord. Amen. So there are some leaders, there are some, uh, 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 what they call it, some 
people that we are working with that are so troublesome. Some some people that we are working with that are our boss at work and everywhere. They will just be tormenting you. You will not have peace. No matter what you do, they are not satisfied with your job and all those things. But when we behave ourselves, we humble ourselves, we keep on doing it. Praise the Lord. And there are some there are some boss or some chefs that you are working with. You have not finished one. They will bring another one. But I have to do this one. No, I'm telling you to do this one. No, do this one. I'm doing they'll bring everything. But for peace to reign, you walk yourself wisely. See humble yourself. Do what? Yes, sir. Amen. Because what is he doing? He is the boss. Amen. The Bible said we should honor those that are in authority. He's the one that is but when you behave yourself wisely. Then the same case that happened to this man, Saul, so will also happen to that wicked person. Praise the Lord. In all that he tried to do to, uh, to, uh, to David, he never saw see God was with him. But David behaved himself wisely. And when Saul began to see this, he became afraid of him. I pray that enemy will be afraid of you in the name of Jesus. So there are some people, they are just too troublesome. They want to disturb you wherever you are. But when you humble yourself, then you God will be the one to exalt you. That was the case of uh, David. God exalted him and, and, uh, and bring Saul that he became the king. I pray as you allow the king of kings to rule, the God of peace to rule in your home, in your life, he will exalt you in the name of Jesus. Humble yourself in the mighty hands of God and he will be the one to exalt you. Promotion does not come from man, but it comes from God Almighty. The Lord will exalt you in the name of Jesus. So when David make way for that peace to come, then God begins to elevate him, make a way of escape for him. Praise the Lord. God will help us in the name of Jesus. So no matter what we are passing through, at work, it may be among the brethren, we must walk in humility, in, in reverence as well. And again, God will be the one to exalt us in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Number five point is that we must walk together because that the, because that is where God's command is blessing to be. Amen. We must learn to work together as believers. We must work together in unity. We must work together so that the Prince of Peace can come in into our life. Let's look at the scripture here in Psalm 133. Psalm 133. Psalm 133 verse 1. It said, Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Praise the Lord. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard of Aaron, Aaron's beard, that went down to his skirt, to his, to his skirt of his garment, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion, for there the Lord command the blessing. Amen. Even life forevermore. Amen. That is where God commands blessing. Walking together in unity, in love, without strife, without, without uh, discrimination, without uh, conflict that is where God command his blessing to be he said it's like the precious earthman that flows from Aaron's bed Aaron was the minister through from the head onto the congregation he said for there God command his blessing to be and life forevermore somewhere where there is strife where there is where there is uh, disunity where there is hatred where there is bitterness one can get hot and cannot have light life as you may as Abraham the servant the servants of Abraham begin to strive together, fight one another, they will, lives begin to go. Some may decide to kill themselves and they will not gain life. Praise the Lord. The blessings of God will not rest upon them. Remember, Isaac has not come this time if they were striving. The blessings of God that was supposed to come upon Abraham to be a father of generation, it will not come. It was after, if you read that scripture, it was after the strife, then God spoke to him and said, look, everywhere I have given it to you. He said, dead God command his blessing to be because of he forbid strife. 
how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. Say God, that is where God commanded his blessing to be. I pray as we walk together as a church, as a family, as brethren, God, we command his blessing to be upon us in the name of Jesus. He will bless us with perfect peace. He will give us understanding in the name of Jesus. He will give us life abundantly forever in the mighty name of Jesus. What about Acts 2? Let's look at the apostles. Acts 2. Acts chapter 2. Verse, I will read it from 1. It said, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all one with one accord in one place. That means they were together. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the hearts where they were sitting. And there appeared the cloven tongues of fire, like of, as of a fire, and it sat upon their head. Praise the Lord. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up. Ye everlasting door, let the King of glory come in. Because they were dwelling together, they were one accord, then they were able to prepare themselves, make way for the Holy Spirit to come down into their midst, and they, then the Holy Spirit began to do his work. A clove tongues of fire was now upon them. Praise the Lord. Walking together in unity. And that's where God wants to be. In unity, that's where the King of glory can come in. In unity, that's where the God of peace can dwell. Praise the Lord. That's where the blessing is. That's where praises is. That's where joy is. That's where abundant life is. Dwelling together. Amen. He said, there's sad, a clove tongues of fire. And verse 4, he said, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. As the spirits gave them utterance, they begin to speak. Where there is strife, where there is disunity, where there is no, where there is war, where there is no love, the spirit of God cannot come. Hallelujah. And that place, there is no peace. There, nothing good will come. Whatever that will come is going to be opposite. It can be evil. Remember, Thessalonians tell us where we should abstain from all appearance of evil. Assuming they were not abstaining from evil. Assuming they were biased. They, as they were praying together. Are you one brother? There is somebody, is, they are offending themselves. There is disunity. The Holy Spirit will not come there. They will not see the world. They will not see the wonders that God did in their midst. Praise the Lord. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. So it is very good for us as workers, as brethren, to walk together. And the Holy Ghost will come down in our midst in the name of Jesus. And verse, uh, that same, um, verse 46 of that same Acts 2. The Holy Spirit was not done with. They say, and they continued daily with one accord in the temple. And breaking bread from houses to houses, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. Praise the Lord. The power of unity. It can bring peace. It can elevate you. It can also make you to have favor with men. Everywhere you go, doors begin to open. Because you allow the king of glory to come. You make way for him. You make room for him. And he is the one leading you. He's the one that is with you. He's the one that will cause men to favor you. He's the one that everywhere that you go, he will fill you. He said he will, he will fill you with the finest of wheat. He will establish peace in the border of your life. Everywhere you go, you will begin to experience peace. Praise the Lord. Walking together gives us peace. Give us rest. Those that are worried, those that are combat with many things or quarreling with one another, there is no peace. And that's not different from a wicked person. Amen. Say there is no peace for the wicked. Nothing happened. They are just so quarrelsome. They are troublesome. They can't do, do something with one. Walk with somebody. A little thing offend them. A little thing they take offense. A little thing they want to fight. A little thing they want to they want to be angry. Praise the Lord. A little thing they want to destroy. Amen. Amen. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. So walking together also help us to 
it will bring the king of glory into our midst and the God of peace will dwell among us. The Lord Almighty will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Then God begins to promote as we work together here in Living Spring. Then God will continue to add to his church. Amen. It brings addition. It brings multiplication. It brings sup it bring abundance. It brings everything. Praise the Lord. To the church and to you personally. To everything around you. When you go out, they will begin to see the evidence of God. The fingerprint of God that this one is different from the from from the world. May you be different in Jesus' name. May God make you a peacemaker in the mighty name of Jesus. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's see Romans. Romans 12 verse 16. As we begin to round up. Romans 12 verse 16. Romans 12 verse 16 says, Be of the same mind, one towards another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low est estate. Be not wise in your whole conceit. Amen. Praise the Lord. In other words, say, be of the same mind towards one another. It is good. It is. It can happen. We can avoid it. Maybe people sit together, want to do something. One will have his, or his own uh, uh, opinion or one way to do something at the end of the day everybody comes together we disagree we see agree but not in strife can say no ah, i'm seeing it from this view no it's better we do it like this and this oh we do it like this they at the end of the day we come to a conclude a conclusion oh okay let's do it like this but not in quarrel not in argument working together in unity praise the lord say be of the same mind it is only the same mind that can help wants to build remember the two of Babe, it was because they were one. It is God that could separate them because they were one doing things in common. Amen. No, you are supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to do this. No, I'm, I'm the one to do this. This is just my office. You can do things as workers in the house. Praise the Lord. The person is not that you assist the person. Or how can I do this thing? Then helping one another, the, making the job done because we are serving the living God. Praise the Lord. And God will help us in that mighty name of Jesus. Might not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. In other words, still consider those that does not have, that is not even strong among you. Praise the Lord. So those people that are weak, remember David, they were the weak people among, among him that were, that were with him. We have the weak one, we have the, the one that we're, that we're not strong, the discomfort, uh, discontented and the discouraged that were with him. But God helping to bring all of them together. They were able to strong Amen. He put them together, encouraged them, and they were not strong. Amen. So he said, mind not high things, but con uh, condescend to the men of low estate. Be not wise in your own eyes. Don't think, consider the poor one among you. Consider those that cannot do what you are doing. Praise the Lord. Consider those that are not rich like the way you are rich. Oh, this group is just for the rich people. They don't think about the poor. Amen. Consider those that are just coming up in faith. Consider those that are working with you that are still learner. Consider the slow learner and help them to come to faith. Praise the Lord as they give themselves to learning as well. Praise the Lord. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus and the work of God will be done perfectly in Jesus name. Amen. God will help us. In conclusion, Apostle Paul admonished us in that same Romans 12 that we just read. Look at verse 18. He said, if it be possible as much as let in you live peaceable with all men. That means if it is being possible, live peaceable with all men. Let no man say that this one, you did this. I left this place because of you. I did this because of you. It is because of this. It is because of that. Live peaceable with all men. You may want to ask, is it possible to live at peace? Let's consider David. He behaved himself wisely. Amen. If he, even if you are wrong, sometimes it is better to be quiet. 
it is not time to justify yourself. Sometimes maybe if you want to justify, even if you are right, but take it as if you did it. Admit it. Just take it. Because sometimes when you begin to speak about the thing, the person may want to pick offense and offend you. So let's live peaceable with all men and God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray just one prayer? Let's ask God. Lord, give me the grace to live peaceable with all men so that the king you the king god of peace may come into our heart in the mighty name of jesus shall we pray father in the mighty name of jesus lord we ask oh god that you give me the grace to live peaceable with all men in the mighty name of jesus father i ask for that grace release grace to us as a church to be able to walk in peace to be able to walk together to love one another in the mighty name of jesus thank you faithful father in jesus mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving father